What's going on family, it's your boy Big Dick from My Black Universe, so I want to share a video with you guys real quick, I got content coming, don't worry, it's going to be super awesome, I'm going to take my time when everything go hard, but I just noticed this and I had to share it with you guys. So you guys know one of my favorite companies is Gardner's Garden, one of the greatest things about them is the consistency in the product lineup, um, they grind hard, they scale up when they need to, but last week I noticed something that was very peculiar, and you probably noticed something too if you've been ordering from smaller businesses, particularly black owned companies. It's taking longer to get your packages now. It shipped on Monday of last week. Now, I'm filming this on Sunday, June 12th. So, just to give you a timeline, it shipped on Monday of last week. Usually, I get my package by Wednesday, no later than Thursday if it ships on Monday. I didn't get it until Saturday. And the way I got it was kind of peculiar as well. So, I'm used to, you know, USPS doing their thing. We know they're kind of slow. Now, if there was a delivery Olympics, we know USPS wouldn't even make the podium. That being said, I expected to get my package through USPS. Well, that didn't happen this time. I get two packages dropped off from unlikely delivery, which I didn't know they were going to deliver it. And it was UPS. Now, before you say anything, it is not uncommon for UPS to deliver packages for other companies, but it has been so long since I've seen that. I was like... What in the world is going on? Especially when you're delivering a package from a small black owned company and for Amazon. So it prompted me to do some digging and find out what the heck's going on. Also, in my professional life, FedEx is slipping on their pimping. We've had delay after delay after delay. So it's like, you know what? It stands to reason that if the company I work for, which is the number one company in imaging technologies, is having issues with delivery due to a third party company not being able to keep up with the demand. For whatever reason, whether it be gas, manpower, etc., I wonder how this is affecting black owned business because typically they're very small. Uh, even if they scale up, they're on the grand scheme of things, they're not very. Low. So I did some snooping around and came across a few articles, and I kind of want to go over them in kind of a chronological order. Um, so this article is from January 5th of this year, and this is in Richland, Mississippi. It's a short article. I'll link it below, but FedEx blames COVID as local customers experience shipping delays. Now, I can kind of see that on one hand, but at the same time, you know, it's summertime. Most uh, states have lifted the mask mandate, and I'm like, nah, I think this is bigger than that. I think it's bigger than, than just COVID, all right, because I think we've done better with mitigating COVID issues since it happened in 2020 this is 2022 right so if you go over to the next article fedex has a ground problem here's how it plans to dig out of it now this is from march no this is a new article from march 18 2022 this i think is the real issue and i don't think it's just affecting fedex i think ups is hurting usps is hurting dhl um the smaller and up-and-coming uh, shipping companies, I think they're all hurting for manpower. And I think it's a combination of cost of living versus what they can be paid. Now, you can anything beats a zero. We understand that, right? We, we truly understand that. But there has to be a certain amount of money to be made to justify going to work every day. You don't want to work just to work, just to break even or to still struggle, right? So imagine you're working... You're a single mom, single dad, or you're, even if you're in a family, and even with your combined incomes, you have just enough money to stay in debt. That could be very hard. You want to look at other options. Can you really look at these options? The children are out of school now, and things like that. Now, let's translate that to how that affects a small black-owned business. Well, if your customers like myself are spoiled and getting their packages in three days or less, that makes you know raise the antenna and i don't want to misdirect any energy and say oh well, we need to go out to black owned companies or these small companies look the company i work for is struggling not because it's not doing its best to meet the customer demands but because companies outside of ourselves are struggling and i want us to take that in mind or keep that in mind going forward not to misdirect our frustrations with these black owned companies but with the shipping companies 
you know, we need to hold them to a standard. They understand what's going on. There's people who are higher up who get paid to take these issues and mitigate them and find solutions. Why aren't they finding them fast enough? You know, if you're making half a mil, three quarter mil, a million plus, plus more a year, then you need to get on. You know, you need to be snappy and be on it because people expect if I'm paying for a product, I want to get it in a reasonable amount of time, especially if it's a perishable item. Let's say it's a beard product. I always that I know it's a product that is heat sensitive. And it's got to come through this 100 plus degree weather that we're getting here in Texas. That's not cool because it's sitting in a hot warehouse because UPS, FedEx, DHL, etc. don't have the manpower. Whether it be they, they don't want to pay people, whether it be the cost of fuel is going up and it's hard for them to pay people or what else. That's, I feel like that's not my problem. I feel like that's not a black-owned business's problem. I feel like that is that company's problem. Fix it. All right? So what should we do? If FedEx is struggling, and it's been struggling, shipping delays felt nationwide. FedEx reports starting the numbers. This article was written in. This is Baton Rouge. This is 2021. You can go back even further. It's 2020. It's 2020 when they were having issues late that year. So my question is, once again, what is the plan? It's consumers. Do we just say, hey, we understand and we rock with these companies? Or do we try to figure out a way to put pressure on the shipping companies and say, hey, you need to make some shake? Or does somebody come out of the woodwork, throw a Hail Mary pass, and becomes the darling of the shipping industry? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, which is right below the like button. Make sure to share this video. Until next time, peace and black empowerment.